Hey there, so in this video I want to show you how to combine two of my previous DIY projects to make what's called an indirect EVAP air cooler. Indirect meaning that it'll just cool down the air in the room, but it won't add any humidity to the air. So put that over here, grab the pump, drop it in the bottom. Now I'll be grabbing the cold water from there and getting the cold air out of here. Because EVAP air coolers actually generate a lot of cold water along with the cold air, we can just tap into the tub now and you don't even need ice. Beautiful. Sixty-five. So we got sixty-five coming out of there right now. That's the flow going in and out of there. The reason this works is that EVAP air coolers double as water chillers. Once you turn it on, it literally super cools the water in the bottom of the tub within minutes. That's because the evaporative effect of the water going down the pad not only acts on the air that's being pulled through, but also on the water that keeps going around and around, since most of it doesn't evaporate with each cycle. Here's a couple other options for the radiators. Say you got a dust fan you want to convert. Just buy one of these, transmission cooler. Drop a pump and some tubing on it, drop that in the bottom of the EVAP cooler. If you want to go full size, you can convert a box fan with a couple of them, like that. I'll post links to those in the description area, but a lot of options. Just for reference, you could actually run all three of these at the same time, and you'd get nowhere near overpowering the cooling power of that EVAP air cooler. It'd keep up easily. You could probably run two of each of the fans you see in the picture before it'd even get close to overpowering it, and it probably still wouldn't at that point either. That is, of course, as long as you have the low humidity. It's all really based on that. I got vids on all these, by the way. I'll post the links in the description below. There it is, 72. Yep, staying nice and cool. 63, 61, 16 Celsius, 61. So just to be clear, the way you set these up is you put the blue cube and the pads outside, and then you put, the, of course, the radiators with the fans on the inside and then it's somewhat of a closed loop on the inside. The water stays in the radiator and the tubes. So all you get is the cool air, no added humidity. 
there's plenty of cool humid air that that thing puts out on the top, but that just goes off into space. And if you want, you can use it outside, like just kind of plant it and maybe you could point it towards a deck or a picnic table. Or if you're running this thing on solar panels, just point it towards them. Keeping them cool will help them work better. Awesome.